Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be telling you guys how to register our Nano Drone, that is DJI Mavic Mini or Mini 2, on Digital Sky website. So before getting started, most of the guys have the common question that is, uh, is it compulsory to register our Nano Drone? And if yes, how can we register our Nano Drone on Digital website? So the third most common question is, will drone hacks work after registering our drone? So in this whole video, we'll be discussing about these points. So watch this video till the end. And if you are new to the channel, do hit a subscribe button. And if you like the content at the end of this video, do like this video. So this motivates me to create some more content like this. So without wasting much of time, let's quickly get into the video. It's the Digital Sky website. Uh, so here we can register our drone. So when we visit this website, we will get uh, the home page as something like this. Uh, so I'll be adding this uh, link in the description. You can directly visit this website. So here uh, it is asking us that want to declare an unlisted drone. Click here. So we need to click here. I'll be directly adding this link in the description. So you can directly visit this and you can start from here itself. So before getting started, uh, let's have a look at the guidelines first. So the first point is about uh, the rules passed that was on uh, June 8th something and uh, second point is about uh, all drones need to be enlisted they have said that all aircrafts or uh, all drones need to be enlisted that is mandatory and third point is about drone enlisting has two parts like one will be OAN and DAN means one we need to have the ownership acknowledgement number and second one we is uh, drone acknowledgement number in ownership acknowledgement number we need to provide our education details our uh, uh, citizenship identification uh, like uh, other card or any passport or anything like that for drone uh, drone photos we need to provide so these two numbers we need to get so fourth point is uh, if any uh, person is uh, owning two drones then he need to have two dan numbers means drone acknowledgement numbers two separate drone acknowledgement numbers and he can attach those two drone acknowledgement numbers to the single oan number means ownership uh, if a single person is owning two drones he can do that fifth point is about if owner does not has a oan or dan number valid oan or dan number then there's a chance of uh, penal action means penalty there, there's a chance of uh, being penalty so sixth point is if you have oan and dan that does not mean that you can fly your drone anywhere like any restricted area or anything that does not mean you have the permission to fly in red zones or yellow zones so you should uh, make sure about this so these are the few points and the seventh one is documents required here they have said what all documents required so first is uh, you number you need to provide your own details ownership details so you need to provide a passport front page and last page or you can provide a other card front page uh, front and back side photo so in the second point they have said that uh, they need three high quality pictures of the drone top front view top view and close view with serial number and we also need to keep the measuring scale so uh, in the further part of the video i'll be showing you guys how to uh, take these photos and upload these photos so in the third point they have said that you need to provide some electricity bill or water bill any utility bill like if you have any utility bill which is uh, just three months older or a month older you can provide that to confirm the financial details mm, and uh, fourth point is uh, for your on number you need to provide your highest educational qualification proof like any uh, thing like marks card or uh, any degree certificate so the fifth uh, uh, fifth point is pan card of organization this is not needed uh, as we are uh, individual owners so this is not needed another one is uh, letter on official letterhead this is also is not needed as we are individual owners for individual owners we will be skipping these two points we don't need pan card uh, providing pan card or a letter of official letterhead and uh, uh, when we provide these documents we need to make sure that um, all the documents are under 300 kb as they have mentioned here that uh, it should be under 300 kb and uh, none of the documents should be password protected and even images should not be password protected so the ninth point is if we have all these documents ready then this process may take around 25 minutes so the tenth point is we cannot uh, save and fill it later we need to do this process in one go like if we start enlisting then we need to enter and if we click uh, close the browser then we need to start from the beginning and uh, 
this uh, 12th point is if you face any issue then we can contact with the support dig- uh, hyphen digital sky at gone.in and the last point is uh, to avoid this uh, their replies then we can add uh, no hyphen reply at the dgca.nic to the safe center list so these were the few points you need to keep a point uh, keep a note of uh, you guys can uh, read them properly and understand these uh, guidelines if you guys are thinking that for nano drones it's not compulsory to register then you are wrong guys even for nano drones we need to register and get a dan and oan number so before getting started with the enlisting part let's quickly take some photos of our drone from the top view from the front view and the photo with serial number so first let's take the top view photo we need to adjust a measuring scale like this and click a photo like this as shown on the screen secondly we need to take a photo from the front side by adjusting the measuring scale vertically the measuring scale which you are using for the photo it should be readable when you click photos now as you can see on the screen that measuring scale is very clear third photo that you should capture is close up view of a serial number serial number is present on back battery door so you need to open the battery door and take a photo make sure that you are taking a clear picture focused picture so that uh, serial number is visible so once you are done with clicking these three photos you can send these photos to your friend and ask uh, them to send it back through the whatsapp so when you receive these photos from whatsapp it will be less than 300 kb and you can make some folder and uh, rename all the images by front to top and serial number as you can see on the screen so before starting with the enlisting uh, keep all these documents and photos ready now you can see on the properties that uh, these files are less than 300 kb so now we are ready with all the necessary documents and photos that we need for the enlisting let's quickly start with the enlisting of our drone so when we first click on uh, enlist our drone we get uh, this kind of a page where we need to enter our full name email phone number and password you should create a password of eight characters which should include of uppercase lowercase and special key in the password after entering all this data just click on generate otp so it's saying that my email address is already registered so i will just quickly change my email address enter a different one so after entering all this data just click on generate otp with the phone number or mobile number which you have entered you'll get an otp enter that otp over here and then click on enroll so once you click on enroll verification link and uh, registration link will be sent to your uh, entered email id so now let's quickly check our email so as you can see here i have got a email from digital sky drone enlisting account has been created verify your email so here they have written hd ashokumar thank you for creating your account in digital sky to enlist your drone to proceed with your owner profile creation please click uh, verify the email by clicking on the below link so once you click on the link provided in the email you will be redirected to the digital sky website so from here we need to proceed creating our profile so first we need to click on i am an individual owner then enter full name as per id proof enter your nationality enter the email phone number full name of father or guardian date of birth as per id proof and from the proof of identity select the uh, document which you will be providing like a passport or aadhar card here i will be providing passport so i'll be selecting passport enter the passport number like if you have selected aadhar card enter your aadhar card number over here next is place of issue you need to enter the place of issue of your passport next you need to enter the passport expiry date so if you have entered aadhar card so you'll be asked different uh, things like uh, other number place of issue and uh, other expiry or something like that after entering all this detail uh, you need to upload a file that is a uh, copy of your passport you can just click the photo of your first page of your passport and last page of your passport and collage them in a single image and upload it over here make sure this passport uh, image should be less than 300 kb it will not accept more than 300 kb Once you're done with uploading, uh, you need to enter your current address. After filling all your address details, you need to upload your uh, electricity or utility bill. Here I will be uploading uh, electricity bill. In the same way as said before, even electricity bill or any utility bill should be less than 300 kb. After uploading your utility bill, then you can enter your highest education qualification. 
can upload a high degree qualification certificate as said before you can upload any certificate like degree certificate or your marks card both are valid after that you need to enter the details of alternative contact person so here i will be entering my name itself you can enter your name itself here. and i will be entering my alternative email id and alternative phone number so once you are done with all these steps you can cross verify and click on submit then instantly when you click on submit you will get a oan number owner acknowledgement uh, number just take a screenshot or note this oan number so now we are done with the oan registration now we need to enlist our drone with our oan number here we need to click on enlist new drone once you click on enlist new drone you will be redirected to the page where you need to enter all your drone details first you need to provide name of the manufacturer then you need to provide the model name year of manufacture serial number provided by manufacturer you can find the year of manufacture from the drone box or the drone purchase bill and the serial number you can find it on the battery door there uh, below the qr code you can find the serial number of the drone so once you enter all these details you need to click on save and continue so after that in step 2 you need to enter serial number of flight controller module serial number of ground control station maximum take off weight in kg to get the serial number you can open the dji fly app then you can go to the about section scroll down you can get all the serial numbers over here flight control serial number battery serial number remote control serial number everything will be available over here from here you need to take a flight control serial number and enter over here and from there itself you can copy the same thing that is rc controller serial number and enter over here after that you need to enter the maximum take off weight in kgs so it is 249 grams so as they have mentioned in kgs so it will be 0.249 next is type of drone it will be by default nano and onboarding controlling type it's manual and wing type rotary wing month and year of manufacture so month and year of manufacture you can get it from box as said before uh, or you can get it from the bill so once you enter all these details click on save and continue so in the step 3 you need to upload files that is uh, top view front view and serial number photo here uh, they have mentioned some instructions the same as said before uh, the file should be less than 300 kb and the measuring scale should be visible and even drone should be visible photos to should be taken in good light and the files that we are uploading should not be password protected now let's upload the file in the front view we need to upload the front view photo i have already made a file name with front for the top view we will be uploading a top view photo and for the close up view exposing manufacturer serial number we will be uploading that photo so after uploading all these files you need to click on i hereby confirm that all information provided are here in is true confirm by understanding that furnishing any false information here in shall be constructed as a criminal act and shall invite penal action third point is undertake to abide by all applicable laws and regulations related to drone that will come in force from time to time after checking in this box you can save and preview then you will get all the informations that you have entered so once you confirm them you can click on get dan once you click on get dan you will get a unique dan number that is drone acknowledgement number and it will also be sent to the registered email id within 48 hours so here we have completed our registration so we have got owner acknowledgement number and drone acknowledgement number if you guys have entered any wrong detail it cannot be altered later so in such cases you can contact uh, digital sky support team or your application will be rejected and there is a chance you will end up getting a penalty so enter all your correct details while registering for oan and dan after getting dan oan you should uh, keep the note of this both uh, dn and on and keep this with you while flying your drone so to keep the note of this on and dn i have made a card for the self, self reference this card is not provided by digital sky i have just uh, created it on my own to keep the track of uh, on and dn if you guys need this template just comment below 
I'll be providing this template to you guys as well. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you have liked this video and found this video informative. If you guys found this video informative, do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.